Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the fourth session of the chapter Materials of the Earth's Crust. In this session, we are going to learn in detail about metamorphic rocks. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. First, develop understanding about formation of metamorphic rocks. Compare and contrast between contact metamorphism and regional metamorphism. Acquire knowledge about some common metamorphic rocks. List some common uses of metamorphic rocks. Before we begin our exploration about metamorphic rocks, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding the same. First, rocks can get metamorphosed due to intense sunlight. Well, that's not true. Second, metamorphic rocks cannot be further metamorphosed. Well, again, this is a myth. Metamorphic rocks can be further metamorphosed. Third, all the metamorphic rocks are found deep inside the Earth's crust. Again, it's a myth. We can find metamorphic rocks on and near the Earth's surface as well. Fourth, rocks are said to be metamorphosed even if the mineral composition in existing rocks does not change. Well, that is not true. All these are myths. Let us look at what real facts are. Meaning of metamorphism Any existing rock can be altered through the action of heat and pressure and these rocks are then called metamorphic rocks. A rock is said to be metamorphosed only if one or more of the following changes happen. Changes in texture and changes in mineral composition. Changes in texture During metamorphism, existing texture in the rock may be altered and new textures will form. Metamorphic rocks may possess one of the following textures. Slaty texture A rock is said to have a slaty texture if it parts along parallel planes. Schistos texture A rock is said to have a schistos texture if it breaks into thin flakes. Nisos texture A rock is said to have a nisos texture when the stronger mineral crystals have retained their dimensions but the other minerals exhibit a foliated structure. Granulatic texture A rock is said to possess a granulatic texture if it has almost equidimensional mineral crystals interlocked with each other giving the rock a sugary appearance. Diagenesis If the mineral composition of the rock does not change but only the original structures are just altered, the rock is said to have undergone a process of diagenesis. Changes in chemical composition The formation of new minerals is an essential condition for metamorphism. The assemblage of minerals found in metamorphic rocks is an important indicator of the grade of metamorphism that a rock has suffered. The following is a brief guideline of minerals associated with different grades of metamorphism. Low grade metamorphism 
when rocks are subjected to temperatures between 200 to 350 degrees celsius without any significant change in pressure they are said to have been subject to low grade metamorphism these rocks will contain most of the original minerals if they are physically and chemically stable but weak minerals may convert to new minerals high grade metamorphism when rocks are subject to temperatures above 350 degrees celsius along with pressure of about 200 to 300 kilobars they are said to have been subjected to high grade metamorphism these rocks mostly do not contain the original minerals unless they are extremely stable for example quartz causes of metamorphism the temperatures associated with metamorphism range from 200 degree celsius to 800 degree celsius such ambient temperatures are usually created due to the contact with igneous intrusions friction associated with the rubbing of rocks due to earth movements and rising magma the pressures associated with metamorphism range from 50 kilobars to 300 kilobars the pressure may be unidirectional resulting in foliated textures or may be isotropic resulting in massive and granulatic textures the pressure causing metamorphism may result if rocks are buried deep beneath layers of younger rocks it may also be caused on account of the thrust associated with rising magma however quite often this pressure is lateral and is the outcome of earth movements it is due to these reasons that metamorphic rocks are found most commonly in mountain belts near igneous intrusions and deep inside the earth's crust also metamorphic rocks are almost invariably associated with structures such as folds and faults types of metamorphism contact metamorphism contact metamorphism occurs due to alteration of surrounding rocks by magma hence it is common near igneous intrusions area of rock which is affected is very less not beyond a few hundred meters from the magma and heat is the dominant agent of metamorphism in contact metamorphism regional metamorphism on the other hand occurs due to movement of lithospheric plates hence it is common in mountain belts area of rocks affected is very large often thousands of square kilometers here both heat and pressure play a predominant role the following is a brief description of common metamorphic rocks slate as the name suggests this rock is characterized by its slaty texture this rock forms when a weak sedimentary rock such as shale is subject to low grade metamorphism schist as the name suggests this rock is characterized by its schistous texture this rock forms when basalt or slate is subject to low grade metamorphism nice as the name suggests this rock is characterized by its nisos texture this rock forms when granite is subject to low grade metamorphism granite retains the quartz and feldspar but also consists of new minerals such as biotite 
quartzite. This rock is formed when sandstone undergoes low-grade metamorphism. The pore places in sandstone are obliterated and the resultant quartzite is hard and massive, consisting of a sugary or granulitic texture. Marble this beautiful rock marble is characterized by its granulitic or saccharoidal texture. This rock forms when limestone is subjected to low grade metamorphism. This was all for this session. In the next session we will focus on the rock cycle. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.